The severity of the storm really depends on just where exactly you live. The north and west parts of Miami Valley got hit the hardest. The entire region, though, was under a blizzard warning for most of the day, but have conditions been right to classify this storm as a blizzard? Meteorologist Tara Hastings continues our live Team 2, Storm Team 2 coverage to break it all down. Tara? Well, we had those blizzard warnings in effect across portions of the Miami Valley uh, beginning last night and into much of the day today. And one of the criteria that we need for the a blizzard warning, uh, we need one or another. We're talking about winds or visibility. So uh, in order to have a blizzard warning verify, we need to have sustained or frequent gusts of about 35 miles per hour or higher. And uh, we also need the blowing and drifting snow to create reduced visibilities of about a quarter mile or less. Now, the one thing that we need is for three hours. Now, I want to show what the winds have been doing across uh, Dayton for the day today. What we did see were those winds sustained at about 20 miles per hour in most locations, and we did see some gusts at about 30 and 35, but they weren't uh, at 30 and 35 miles per hour for about three hours or more. So it looks like, especially in the northern sections of the Miami Valley, this blizzard probably will verify, but not necessarily for here in Dayton. Now, I want to take a look at the last Last time that a blizzard warning was issued, that was in March of 2008. Now, not only was uh, uh, that blizzard uh, that warning uh, not necessarily was verified here for Dayton, but maybe for about dark and again the north and western half of the Miami Valley. But really, the last time we had a big blizzard here in Dayton. Of course, much of the Midwest, many of you will probably remember, was the blizzard of 1978 in January. Brian Davis was uh, giving me some great stories about uh, all of the snow drifts across uh, most of the Miami Valley, Miami County in Troy. So this uh, definitely is not going to measure up to the blizzard of 78, but will definitely be a snowstorm that we will remember. Reporting live, I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News.